Yeah, I want to invite you to something glamorous. What's next? Thank you so much for tuning in today. We are here at the Lemon Jelly Salon having a tea and nail polish conversation with the founder, Miss Claire. First, I want to give a warm welcome to my studio audience, the Young Ladies for Christ organization. I really appreciate you guys being here today. So, Miss Claire, welcome to Plain TV. I'm so excited you guys are here. Welcome yes. to Lemon Jelly Salon. Thank you. So, we want to get down to pretty much the crux of it. It's brains, it's beauty, and it's braiding, which you do all three. So, you are the brains behind the Lemon Jelly Salon. How did that come about? Actually, it was divine the way that it came about. Um, I never really purposed open a salon, but I am walking in my purpose. I am. And what about the art of beauty and styling that entices you? Well, what I really like about beauty is that it's something that we can create. Yeah, and it's something that is organic. It starts with men. So even if you're not wet, people would say, oh, that's a beautiful woman. Yeah, if you do, like, really, put really good things inside of your body, like great food, um, exercise, and stuff like that, you can begin to create beauty, as well as what you put into your mind, what you feed your soul, and that creates beauty. So, you have brains, you have beauty, but you also do braiding. This is your salon. This was the birth of something new for you. And you also bring in different educational forms for the community as well. Yes. Um, well, when I thought about the space and how to design the space, I wanted it to be a place where we could do education um, for the staff as well as externally invite other people in to utilize the space. So the space here, everything pretty much is new. So we can allow different events to come in, like you guys are here, to come in and use the space. It's really more like a studio. Education and cosmetology is so important because styles change, trends change, tools change, um, business models change, and you really need to keep up with that if you want to be a force in this industry because it's always evolving. Now, do you find branding Lemon Jelly Salon different between your personal brand or is it one and the same? I, I would think that it's one and the same for me. It may look different for other um, businesses, but for me it's one and the same because Lemon Jelly is player. Mm -hmm. And if I could just speak to just the personal brand, um, it really started many years ago. I didn't know that it was starting many years ago, but I would take it back to my teenage years. And I was thinking future. Future. What did I what did I want in the future? I started nurturing my spirit, investing in that, um, as well as like I said, diet, um, the types of activities that I did, um, exercise, and that's what really happened with a personal brand, as well as I didn't want it to be very contrived because you could put on. You can put on hair, you can put on a wig, but is that really beauty? Is it at all? You can put on makeup, but is that great skin? So no, it wasn't. So it's really important to make a decision while you're young. What you want to look like in the future? What is it that you want to say without even opening your mouth? What is your brand? Your brand is yourself. You live it, you walk it, and then you can sell it. So, beauty, brains, branding. There's a lot of young ladies in the audience today who are trying to find their personal brand voice as they journey through high school or they, you know, prepare for college. So, what advice? If I don't know if you've already said it before, but what advice would you give these young ladies today about how important personal branding is that it starts today and then it also works in with their character development? Um, invest in yourself. Dig down deep. Look at what it is about you that is unique. Look at your core, your core. And only you know what your core is. Nobody else can tell you or define that for you. You know, if you're really good at something, 
Hold in one. If you have a dream, just dream big. Don't worry about the naysayers, people that say, oh, you're not good enough, or maybe you're even playing that back, that track in your mind. Delete it. Delete it. Say, I am good enough. I can do this. I'm going to be the best me. And be that. It's really, it's really quite, it's quite simple. We just have to block out those negative voices because the negative voices want you out for the count anyway. See if they get you out for the count. They don't have to worry about you. That's one less they have to worry about. All right, well, thank you so much, Ms. Mary. We'll have a conversation with us today. And for those who are viewing at home, click the links below, especially if you're looking for a new hairstylist in the Indian Head. DC, Maryland, Virginia area, Ms. Claire Lemon Jelly Salon is here for you.